and we return to Hand of Fate. Episode we play. six, I think. Five, six, I don't Even know. Now access endless mode. Oh. If you wish to test your skills against chance itself. Uh, no, we're just let's do a story mode. And we are going to encounter our first king today. The king of dust. With a curse. Compensation. Whenever the player finish a combat, they lose either one gold. Nay, they lose one gold per fifteen health. That's that's rough. <laughs> the king of dust broke faith with broke faith with king and country long ago, and has made himself rich and powerful through the judicious application of cruelty and terror outside of law for decades. Some men thrive in anarchy and chaos. The king of dust is one such. His tools are cruelty and terror, and I suspect he will harbor a great hatred for you, my friend. Mm, just In like anyone else. Lands, the king of dust takes his tithe of all. Look at all this dust. <laughs> Specks of dust. Thimbley Park reference. Is that a, is that a cue? Oh yeah, the was. You face the first of my kings. Each has shaped the nature of their forces with the strength of their will. They will turn that power to your destruction. If you say so. Helpful priest. It amuses me to watch them theorize. To attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. Yeah, you success. Nice. Probably got two blessings right now. Yeah. Hetman's blessing. Any Make kill made using an axe powerful. grants the player three I health. Have to rebalance that next time. And a critical strike, the player inflicts triple damage against foes who are stunned. Nice. So canyon. Yeah, let's get a better weapon. Sounds like a plan to me. A choice. Select your desire. Frostfang, we just keep on getting this Frostfang, man. <laughs> Stairs. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. <laughs> Do you understand how this game works now? Dude, Do I've understood it for like years. Calling the Ratman. Win this and claim my token. All the lads in the kingdom are being overrun with Ratman. Merchants in my lands are attacked on the road, or as any travellers, such as yourself. My gods are needed here, with me, but if I had just fifty gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nests and cull their numbers. Yeah, I... So this, what this does, basically, if you pay him fifty gold, the Redman hunting parties will get removed on the deck. Uh, sadly, though, we just started, we don't have fifty gold. I understand contributing to the common good may be unfamiliar to your sort, but I urge you to return immediately if you change your mind. I would, but I don't have the gold, man. <laughs> oh, the treasure chest again. Open the chest, see what it contains. I'm curious. Yes, me too, but I don't want to activate that stupid trap again. I think it's this one. There we go. And now we still need to pry it open. Okay, three, two, one. So it should be easy. Yes, nice. Okay, I hope we get a lot of gold here so that we can just remove the Redman hunting party immediately. Armory. Uh, medium armor or fool's gold. I don't know what fool's gold does. On every weapon ability a usage. A flash of gold and the bandits will forget themselves. Whenever you open ability usage, all bandits are stunned for 3 seconds. Every bandit killed adds the player 2 gold. Nice. Um, Middle of the road in every way. I don't know what armor we have. Okay, good. <laughs> As pleases you. I was worried there. Oh, I wanted gold, guys, not equipment. 
Berserker armor. During combat, armor every hit you sustain you increases your speed and weapon strength. strength. Power of a barbarian, which you are on closer examination. Dude, that's rude. Um, that could be really good, actually. But I just got light armor or medium armor, so ten goals. I'm sure you are grateful. Fifteen goals. Hmm. Call for the priest. Let's see if we can buy some food here. Twenty-two. This is a bad deal. <laughs> Sell our berserker armor, which will give us seventeen gold, and our axe for four gold. And we all will be using the rest, so. I mean, if we could have just gotten the 50 gold there. But we need food as well. Cave. Ex exit the cave. What brings you to play the game? I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. All the rest? Where, where's all the rest? And I'm silent. You're silent. Devil's choice. I like this demon. He lies as often as he tells the truth. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Um... Two skulls. You're no mighty hero. I will let you live with your choice. Jeez. <laughs> That's rude. Look at all those traps. There's like spikes in the ground, and I think that blue fire thing was a shoot fire. Or maybe not. But there are spikes here. Look. <laughs> And get him. You stand on the spikes, why don't you? <laughs> dunk, dunk. Oh, that was quick. Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test to have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths cross, I will clean myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Armory. Helm of Reflection upon reflecting a projectile. A defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. Oh, that's a nice one actually. Five food. Mm, not a five food. Your prize. A token. Noise. Ambush. The bandits are sorely loyal to their king. They will not let you reach him easily. Three of dust with two red dots. I think that's the difficulty. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, why are we on a ship in the middle of a desert? What sense does that make? <laughs> Frozen! <laughs> the noise... There we go. That wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> Keep them coming, those ambushes. He is only, only pretending to be dead. I fooled you. <laughs> Three game guards, nice. One more equipment. Oh, a better shield, great. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. 
Uh, three food. And three gold. Oh, there's the white minotaur again. <laughs> the third time we encounter this card. Token if you succeed. Um, I mean, if we get a success on it, uh, then we can actually pay him. If we get a failure as well. Eh. 15 gold, sure. The bard bestows upon you all the knowledge that he has gleaned about the white minotaur. The guard's token is now finally ours. <laughs> Traveling mage? Um. Huh. Let's approach it. Let's see what they uh, what they offer. Maybe we can like sell some of our own stuff. Because we got quite a lot of equipment. A demo class, which is always nice. A plunderous cap. Alchemical, Al 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 I think. Silver. Press E to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer you combo, the more explosive the reaction. Ooh, that's good. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. They're all pretty good, but they're all uh, over my budget. I mean, we can sell the shield. The rest are actually using the rest. 23. Actually, I might do that because I hardly ever actually reflect a, pro a projectile. I just dodge them. So, uh, let's sell the helm as well. And... Buy these hags wraps. I think they're more useful. Some of your foes will take those curses to the grave and beyond. You treat powerful artifacts as though they were toys. They are toys. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Forest escape. Roaming ever forward. Yes, let's take the forest truth. path. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Oh, of course. Six of dust with I two am different. Two My dots. powers are genuine. Six bandits to keep you on your toes. To keep me on my toes. But I'll just be running. Okay, let's resaw these fools. Oh, we only first one. I thought it would be like affect multiple. Let's get rid of this guy because he's annoying. Oh, now he is throwing stuff. Get out! You're throwing knives. There we go. I should like use my shield more, but oh well. Ah, we're out of gold. <laughs> Among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a raw description of you, plus an offer for a reward from the King of Dust. I gained fifty health. I mean, little extra help, but it is only a momentary respite. Uh, we have no gold. I sleep in the forest again. Okay, so we did this last episode and we made a mistake. <laughs> we are actually going to lower our weapon this time. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. That was weird. <laughs> Cave mouth, very well. Exit the cave. On this floor, the King of Dust waits for you. He is prepared. Are you? 
You may have to contend with every bandit in the kingdom before you reach the king. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if I would, like encounter all the ambush cards before I encounter the king card, then that is indeed the case. They attack so slow. There you go. I will throw your spoons in the water. Or something. Just don't come back. We can keep on losing gold we don't have. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh well, it's just this one, so. Uh, armory. <laughs> you jammer. It's holy, as you Sometimes see. form follows function and vice versa. In it does more. Case, <laughs> Shut up! A huge hammer. You take a guess. Yeah, it's uh, way does way more damage than our thing than our frost fang. And it's holy too. I mean, we don't encounter a lot of skeletons I'm in this sure level, you're but for that. What food? Have to be food. Shop. We have no point of going to the shop, we don't have any gold. Ratman hunting party, great. It seems you have made an enemy of the ratman. Check of plague, what? <laughs> unless provoked. Come on. Oh, dodge that. I just killed you last time. Why are you back? This Bowman. Hi. Oh, ow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was way more effective than I thought it would be. We're actually quite a lot slower with this uh, with this hammer. But oh well. You saw I should reach the body, standing nothing. Okay. Oh, there he is. The king is fierce and so foolish as to deliver his themselves to the king. He can choose to heal them. Okay. We play for a token now. Actually, I don't think he's that bad. He can heal his troops, but if they're dead, they're dead, right? Oh, he has a, he has a nice axe, though. And look at his hair and his beard, it's like a star. It's a real cool design actually. Then again, this game in general has really cool design of fame. Whoa, what the Oh wow, he has like some meteor strike thing. See? He can just call some rocks down. Oh. <laughs> you, you're hitting your own man, guy. Look, look. Oh, but oh, he, he can hit himself too. That's that's genius. Ow. Oh. And boom. There we go. Oh wait, is he dead? Oh no, he's not. I thought he was dead for a second. Oh, oh, we just. <laughs> to roll straight to that one. Oh, that's <laughs> not get hit by a meteor here. Dang. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. He can actually uh, dodge that uh, the ground found thing I do with my hammer if he attacks at the same time. Oh, he's healing himself now. Come on, get down. Get out. Your minions are dead, and you so should you be. There you go. Get down, King of Dust. We defeated all the Dust characters. Nice. Unless there's an Ace of Dust. I don't know. I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> there are many who will be pleased that you have defeated the likes of my lesser king. My lesser As king. For me, I think you have but proven that I must defeat you entirely. A set of new trinkets for you. You will need them and more. 
For surviving the devil's choice, you received the devil's wager. <laughs> Great. For hearing the song of the white minotaur, you receive hunting the huntsman. For showing the ghost you are merciful, you receive asleep at the inn. Oh, it's like it's like an uh, octagon. As a reward for defeating my bandit king, you receive feathered eyes, life's limb, old graveyard, stranger in the shadows. Heroes remains, and our new enemy, the Jack of Skills. Indeed. Come, come once more to the game. We will, in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Stay tasty.